Hey guys, David. Back forward. Hey, um, we're looking at Newark Yard here, and I'm gonna kind of follow the same uh, route that I did and uh, true real story that I did uh, with the Union Pacific Railroad. And um, hey, to uh, you know, I've gotten a handful of new subscribers. I appreciate you guys and all my regular subscribers. Um, but all that to say, I figure I'd let you guys know. So I worked for the Union Pacific Railroad from um. 1998 to 2011, I went into engine service, became an engineer in 2004 to 2011. In 2011, I called it quits because I got tired of being call, on call 24-7 and staying in hotels all the time. But anyways, all that to say, we get this train. Um, it's north of, Newark is north of uh, San Jose in the, in the South Bay um, yard here. And the guys that work the Salinas local, uh, the Salinas drag or whatever you want to call it, uh, They'd bring the train up here, and then we go to work um, maybe about 8 or 9 in the morning, which was nice. Um, because I'm Daylight Dave! So, anyways, go to work, and then I get out to the power, and, you know, we had to stop at the office, get our train list, or uh, pick it up wherever we can pick it up. But I'm like, oh, great. I got 13 engines. So, I'm like, oh, this is just great. So that's what I'm going to mimic. So I figured I was kind of messing around for the past couple days, swapped out some decoders, changed things out. But I ended up speed matching. Um, well, out of these 13 engines here, nine have decoders. The others are just DIC, and um, DIC stands for dead concept. So we're going to run 13 engines. Anytime uh, with Union Pacific, um, you run more than eight engines, you got to get a manager's approval. So... I got that. Uh, some manager out of Omaha coughed up his name, so I got that. You, you definitely have to have that. So, um, But I went through the power. It took me well over an hour to go through all the engines. And nine of them are bad order. So um, I had all UP engines, but I'm just kind of throwing all this in just to mix everything up. And I'm not going to turn everything on because it makes a lot of noise until um, we're ready to roll here. So, But I went through all the engines. And I had nine bad order engines. A lot of them just came from the coast. Oh, the coastline or just wherever they rounded them all up. And they're all going back to Roseville for uh, either mechanical or electrical repair. So it was like, uh, I knew I was going to have problems right off the bat having so many bad order engines. So anyways, hey, we're going to put this train together. I'm going to crank up the power here. Hit my uh, number one switch. And this is my lower level booster. Get my lower level booster so we're going to take this train up to oakland and i ran the train uh newark to roseville but oh yeah i had problems so anyways um 13 engines and i had 39 freight cars so i got 39 cars here i just have to double over and um do an air test and the other conductor do the air test so and we're ready to roll so hey we got everything cranked up let's go oh uh since I don't model Newark, I model well. I'm, we're gonna depart here out of Warm Springs, so since I don't, I don't have enough room for everything. So, okay, let's see if we can throttle this thing up, and we'll see what happens here. Get this thing moving. Oh, hang on. Got to throw the switch. Uh, number two, I got to turn that on. Get these guys running too. Throttle these bad boys up too. So, okay, here we go. Okay, now we're moving. Like I mentioned, I speed match these bad boys, so man, I can run so slow with these things. They run so nice all together, and they sound great. I'm not sure if we're getting the full uh, surround sound effect here, but, uh, and we got this many engines with sound. It sounds pretty heck of cool. Not to mention, um, a couple times where I've kind of exceeded the, uh, my amperage limit on my booster, because I was running too many engines, so we'll see what happens with this, and... If I don't crank it up too much, it'll be okay. But that's happened to me too, so. Cruising, cruising, cruising. All lined out here. Looking good. This is on signal here. Uh, my first signal is a Y back here. But my first signal is going to be at Niles there. We got all red up there. Have to talk to the tower there. Talk to Mr. Modello. Oh, by the way, I spent. Uh, Got over an hour. Um, I got these guys all speed matched too, and uh, worked on those guys. And I had to take that 1976. I could not get that thing to speed match, so I ended up. Uh, you know, if you have a problem with it, 
I just reset the decoder to its factory default setting and start it over and and it worked fine, so, but sometimes you just got to do that for whatever reason. It just wasn't taking the CDs right, so. But yeah, he's all uh, speed matched with the, my other engines here. Got my two little bicentennial engines. It's either they're going in for repairs or they're going in for scrap. Not sure yet, depending on how bad they are. Yeah, shoving on back here. The pause and I think over one of these switches. But oh well, I got lots of power, shove it right over any switches that cause me problems. Come back here and go to a hook. Okay, come up, I'll go for a nice, easy little safety stop. Safety stop. About two car links. Okay. The reason you make a safety stop is so you don't go slamming right into the car. You're just going to stop uh, put the car links before you uh, make a hook. Come on back, make a hook here. One to hook, they like me. One or one or one or half or half or. Easy, ten feet. Oh, that'll do. Stretch. Stretch. Good, that little red zone every time. Put the air to it and um, charge up the uh, cars there. Make a set. Walk the set, walk the release. Push a little button on the tele. Make sure that's working. We're ready to go. Rock and roll. Okay, guys, we're on the move here. Got our headlights on. Got our 39 cars. Talk to my brother, Mr. Modelo there at Niles uh, Junction there. Got a clear signal around the curve here at 10 mile an hour curve. Let's get her done. Hey, Mr. Modelo in the background back there someplace. Looking like a little bit of power. Good pause there. Okay, next up, come up on CP40. We're going to take the crossover here. Crossover speed for this is actually 40 mile an hour. It's a pretty smooth crossover. That's our power. Run by Lake Elgy. Got Divergent Clear. Looking sweet. We're still pulling out of the yard. Take that signal to the gas. Divergent clear. That'll work. I like a little bit of power here. So what I was going to talk about too is, um, of course I had problems with the train. I had problems with the engines and because they're a bad order and I had multiple, multiple problems. Um, you know, if you guys ever noticed, you know, you got your little side tanks there. These are main reservoir tanks there, and they're kept between 120 and 140 PSI. So when I was cruising along, you know, I got up to track speed, max speed for more than eight engines is 45 MPH, and no more restrictions on the cars. But all that to say, and um, try to pull away from that noisy, those noisy engines. I'm cruising along, and my air pressure is slowly dropping. So it started dropping below 90 pounds, and then that's when you start getting a little concerned because you want to have at least 90 pounds on your equalizing reservoir, which is another tank. Usually it's located underneath the, um, underneath like the, where you sit in the cab there. Uh, just be with the cab there. You got another tank, smaller tank there. And it's called your equalizing reservoir. So and you want to keep that around 90 pounds. So, of course, I started dropping below 90 pounds, and I'll pick up speed here in a second. So, like I mentioned, I'm just kind of cruising along, and I go, everything's fine when I'm stopped, and I got the reverser uh, centered. You know, it'll recharge the tanks. It took some time to recharge the tanks, but when I was cruising, I'm just losing air pressure. So, I ended up stopping, and I'll kind of show you where I stopped here. Go around the curve here. So once I started dropping below 90 pounds, I reduced about 10 mile an hour because I had to get off some crossings. So by the time I got off the crossings, 
I was at 80 pounds, so I just ended up stopping. And then you got it. You call the dispatcher, you make uh, your problem the dispatcher's problem too. So I had to let him know I was losing air pressure. So I talked to him for a little bit and he, you know, he makes some phone calls too. Oh, there's my tail end, by the way. My 39 cars. So an option is you can go through uh, Mr. Goodwrench. And that's what we called, um, oh, the guy, there's a, a full-time person on on duty who helped you with uh, diesel repairs, engine repairs or whatever. Um, and you just say, hey, you know what, I'd uh, like to speak with Mr. Goodwrench there. And, um, you know, within about five, ten minutes, he'll come on the radio and he'll help you out. And it's pretty cool. You know, in this particular case, I had more problems than I you know, pretty much care to deal with. But um, we didn't go that route this particular time. But, um, you know, the cool thing is with the more modern power, he can do a full diagnostic on you. And he's in Omaha. He's a manager. But he can do a full diagnostic on any engine that you have. He can just bring it up on his computer and take a look at what's going on with it and help you and talk you through uh something so it's it's pretty neat how it works you know it's pretty advanced um as far as when he can just bring up uh, your engine and just look at it and tell exactly what's going on so not so much with these older engines but with the newer stuff you could so but we didn't go that route and i ended up saying hey you know what i'm gonna get in the horn with my manager my um road foreman so i called him up on the cell and told him what was going on we were stopped next to the oakland coliseum and there's a couple of mainline tracks there. there's a station stop there too for amtrak people can get off just walk over the coliseum so i was stopped right next to him and i talked to him and of course well he's with the senior um manager senior road foreman so he put me on speaker with uh him as well so we're all talking and then uh dispatcher he got on the horn and he said on the radio and he said why don't you guys if you guys can just take it up to oakland we'll stop there and the diesel shop and um all that to say i recharge and it took me about 15 10 15 minutes to kind of recharge the air bring the air back up and drug it into oakland we made some repairs got it fixed and made it to roseville okay so it was pretty much uh the extent of my trip and i think i mentioned no two trips are the same i always got uh, something going on so it was my 13 engine trip and that was honestly the most amount of engines I've ever had. Going by Fruit Fail. Fruit Fail, Fruit Fail. He never did repair that signal after um, all that Z train took it out. Quite hard on. Oh, yeah, I just cruised up there. Made it okay. And we're on a move. With Thirteen engines. this bad boy up. Looking good. Looking good, Daylight Dave. Oh. Forgot to turn my traffic lights on. Oh well. Just treat it as a stop sign. Okay, guys, that's about it. I'm about at my 15-minute limit here. So, once again, I'm going to Beans. It's lunchtime. So, glad I got those bicentennials all speed match. So, yeah, appreciate you guys. Appreciate you new guys. Hopefully, you guys found that somewhat interesting. In the meantime, David, back five. I'm going to be signing out.